Whether you like it or not, times are changing. Items that we were all once exposed to are now a thing of the past. Many younger people today wouldn't even recognize what some of these items were, and especially so if they were below the age of 20. In today's video, we will have a look back at some of those items that kids today would not know. The old Nokia phones were not only durable, but they also had a game on them that was pretty addictive. Remember the game Snake? Many of us thought this was the coolest thing ever. We probably played this game more than we talked to anyone on the phone. Kids today just wouldn't understand what a joy this game brought us. Do you recall using one of these? If you are old enough, then I'm sure you do. And no, it's not a letter opener. This is a record adapter that would allow you to play 45 RPMs on your record player. Without it, this little record could spin awkwardly and damage the stylus and or record. Back when we all lived in caves and used the internet, we had to have one of these. They could be picked up at your local store or sent to you in the mail. This was our ticket to using the dial-up internet. Very few things were ever as exciting as hearing, Welcome, you've got mail. When you hear this today, it still sounds pretty special, but it's hard to believe how long it's been since you've actually used it. I'm sure that many of us have used one of these in our lifetime. You may have referred to it as a church key or a can opener. But it's also called a bottle opener, which might be what youngsters would call it if they even recognized it. But there was a time when we used them to open cans of orange juice, soda, beer, and even oil. Modern bottle openers are much more fancy. Computers have been in our lives for quite some time now. It really is incredible to think about what all we can save on them, but at one time it was much different. Many earlier users stored work and information on floppy disks. Eventually this technology became obsolete, but if you still have some of the old 3.5 inch floppies laying around, then they make excellent drink coasters. Today it is very easy to get a hold of someone you know or need. But long before everyone carried a cell phone, they had one of these. They were known as pagers or beepers. It was very common to see doctors and businessmen to have them, but rappers in the 80s made them super cool. The cell phone replaced many items that we once used, and the camera is one of those. Back when we used cameras that needed film, you would see the film packaged in these little canisters. They really became multi-purpose containers after the film was used. You could store anything in them, from paper clips to toothpicks. Most kids today wouldn't have a clue what it was or how handy it could be. If you handed a rotary phone to a kid today, they probably wouldn't know how to use it. However, these old phones carried a lot of memories with them, especially so for anyone who had to use them. Their sounds were pretty distinctive too, and how could you ever forget that? Whenever kids today mention that they have a playlist or mixtape, they certainly do not. A mixtape in our day was a cassette tape. This little device had its own unique set of issues. First, the sound quality wasn't all that great, but none of us really knew that at the time. Second, the occasional tape might have acted up in the player, and then we would need to rewind the spool with a pencil or pen. Third, getting to your favorite song on the tape was never instant. You sort of had to guess where it was and learn to be patient. And finally, the fourth one. Making a mixtape involved listening to the radio and trying to record your favorite songs that you wanted on the cassette tape. You may have to wait days to make your mixtape and even longer if the dumb DJ wouldn't stop talking at the beginning of each song that you wanted. Remember when everyone thought that Palm Pilots were the way of the future? If you had one of these, then you were really into technology of the time. Today our cell phones can do everything that these old Palm Pilots can do and so much more. If a kid today got a hold of one of these, then they would probably wonder why we even bothered with it. Needle threaders were once very common in just about every household. If you didn't have one, then you probably saw one at your grandma's house. They made threading a needle with thread in order to sew much easier. Just place the loop through the eye of the needle. 
Then place the string through the loop and pull it all back through the eye of the needle. Now it seems like more people take their clothes in to be tailored or mended. Many people would rather throw out their clothes than deal with the hassle of sewing it themselves. Video stores such as Blockbuster were once a huge part of our lives. There was no better feeling than going to one on a Friday night and picking out some movies to watch over the weekend. But the video store could also be frustrating. Remember how crushing it was when the movie you really wanted was gone? Inevitably, this would lead to you wandering all the aisles looking for something because you didn't want to go home empty-handed. Sometimes this paid off with an unexpected hit, but many times it did not. Long before we had cell phones and the power of Google, we had to use phone books in order to get the number that we needed. One thing that cell phones and Google can never truly replace is how versatile these books were. You could stack them up on a chair for a quick way of having a booster seat. The pages also came in handy when you received new editions of the phone book. They could be used for packing paper or even a fire starter in the fireplace. Of course, nothing was as cool as watching someone rip them in half. When and if you go to the library today, you probably look up the book you want on a computer and then go to the location where it is at. Everyone in ancient times had to do this with a card catalog, which also meant that we were Dewey Decimal experts. This process was somewhat tedious, and sometimes it could be a lot of work if the book was already checked out. Every kid would know what a chalkboard was, but there's a good chance that they wouldn't have a clue when it came to this. At one time, almost every teacher used one of these overhead projectors. It was usually accompanied with transparent sheets and dry erase markers. These projectors could produce a lot of heat, and if the bulb ever blew, then it meant that the learning for that day was going to be a lot less. At that point, the projector was way too hot to touch. They were going to have to let it cool off in order to change the light bulb or go check out another projector. That generally took more time than if they had just started writing on the chalkboard. Phyllis, I know you won't have a clue what this is. Heck, even a lot of women may not know. And no, it's not a garter belt to hold up your socks. Long before the widespread use of disposable pads and tampons, women use these contraptions for that special time of the month. If it seems like a lot to keep up with, then you're right. Nobody thought anything of it at the time, but I'm sure that no one wants to bring this item back. Video games have been a part of our lives for decades now. Many of us play games on our phones, but consoles are still very popular. However, game controllers have changed a lot over the years, and by the late 80s, the joystick really became obsolete. It was simple and fun for us older folks, but that might be the very reason why kids today wouldn't understand our infatuation with it. However, the very sight of one can often conjure up wonderful memories in the late 70s and early 80s. There are many younger kids today that really wouldn't understand how to work an MP3 player or an iPod. But long before those ever came out, we had the Discman and the Walkman. These devices allowed us to bring our music with us. They were considered to be very portable, despite the fact that we had to lug around huge cases with our music choices. Every kid wanted one, and really these are the devices that made wearing headphones cool. There are a lot of things in older cars that would confuse younger kids. They may know what a manual transmission is, but do they know about manual window cranks and door locks? Even more than that would be cigarette lighters and ashtrays. Every car had them, even if no one smoked, which back in the day, most people did. These built-in ashtrays would not only be in the front of the car, but they could also be in the back seat. They were located on the back of the front seat or on the armrests of the back doors. As kids, we spent hours playing with these, and especially if it was a long trip in the car. Even airliners of the time had ashtrays. If you try and explain that to kids today, they will look at you like you're crazy. If we have learned anything, then it would have to be that time moves on and technology will change. This will make many of the items that we know today as something that the kids of tomorrow will not know. 
What are some of the items that you once used that kids today would not recognize? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.